Hi everyone, Belinda here from the Cairns Museum. Thanks for joining us for STEAM with a theme online today. Today's theme is all about turtles. Here I have a juvenile turtle shell in my hands, but when you come to visit us at the museum, you'll see shells of all different sizes. Did you know that shells can grow up to one metre in length? Turtles can lay up to 110 eggs at a time, and those eggs are shaped like a ping pong ball. We hope you enjoy today's activity. Thanks Belinda, Sari here from the Cairns Museum and today we are talking about turtles. So the experiment that we've got today has to deal with magnets and the reason we're doing that is because turtles have the ability of using the Earth's magnetic field to help them get back to places that they've already been. So when turtles are born, when they hatch on a beach, they then walk into the water, spend their juvenile life swimming through the seas, and when they're ready to hatch and lay their own eggs, they go back to the same beach where they were born, and the whole process starts all over again. So the Earth has a North Pole and a South Pole. So all magnets, um, bar magnets, have a North Pole and a South Pole. So to do this experiment, if you have little bar magnets, you can use them. Um, they've got North Pole, Pole and a South Pole, but you don't have to do that. For today's experiment, all you need is some sort of refrigerator magnet, a sewing needle, if you don't have one of those, a paper clip will do, and something to float said uh, needle on. It also helps if you've got a compass. Now, uh, animals like turtles, they don't need to walk around with a little compass to help them know where to go, but humans do. And so you might have a little handheld one. Um, I don't have one anymore. I had one, I don't know what happened to it, but thankfully technology is awesome. And so you can actually just use your phone and your phone has a compass function on it. So if you are only two or three or four and you don't have your own phone, then that's really good. But you can ask a grown up and I'm sure that they'll be able to help you out. So we're gonna put that there. So what we're gonna do for today's experiment is we are going to magnetize our needle and we are going to make our own compass. So get your magnet and take your needle. The reason I like the needle over the paper clip is that it's easy to tell your two ends. You've got a pointy end, so be careful that you don't prick yourself, and you've got the eye end. And what we're gonna do is we are going to magnetize the eye end, and so therefore our compass, the needle, will point north. So we're gonna take our needle, and we're gonna go at least 12 times in one direction. We're gonna rub the needle on the magnet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If you really want to do it more, go for it. But the more you do it, just helps get our needle magnetized. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is take our flotation device, see that it's nicely floating in the water, and place our magnet needle on there. And as you can see, it's placed and it's moving so that it's facing north. As you can see, we were able to make our own compass. To keep up our work with magnetism, um, if you've got some magnets at home or you get some magnet sets, you can play around with what happens when you take two North Poles together and they begin to repel, whereas opposite ends of your magnet begin to attract. So take this as a building, uh, building block for finding things in your home that are magnetic and not magnetic, seeing why your metal sticks to the refrigerator but your plastic might not, and 
just expand and explore and all of that. And we hope you had fun and we say bye-bye and look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week. Thanks so much, Sari. We really hope you enjoyed today's activity. Feel free to pop photos and videos on our Facebook page and we're looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye.